Welcome back. Today's video is going to be about firmware engineer, how is their role going to be, their career perspectives and also how are their job roles going to be and along with that we are also going to consider about how is their career being under an evaluation, how is that going to take a leap over the years. All of this we are going to be covering up in this video. Before I head forward by telling you the definition of a firmware engineer, what does this person do and how is his or her role going to be. We are going to understand what exactly is firmware, where it can be found and how it can be used. To understand firmware, it is a very simple or a brief definition. So as you can see, this is a type of software which will be controlling a device. And this particularly means which interprets the inputs. So the input is being interpreted through this. Now what kinds of devices which will that be interpreting? So this will be interpreting devices on computers, TVs, remotes, etc. So all of this which will be interpreting through firmware only. So now that you have understood what exactly is firmware is, we are going to understand what does a firmware engineer do. So now we will be moving on to the definition of this person. This person is defined by creating a software which is going to tell a device or interpret a device to react to the inputs. So whatever input that is going to be getting into that particular device that is going to be interpreted by a firmware and all of that is going to be under the control of a firmware engineer which it can be from a design and it also can be till the implementation part. So as you can see, the definition of firmware is given from here. Firmware is a special type of software that will be controlling a device. So that can be cameras, keyboards, TVs, remotes, etc. And any other devices which are linked. And this will be interpreting the input. So all of this particular uh, process which you have just known needs to be under the engineers which is going to be built by the firmware engineer only. Now this firmware engineer not only is under this development of software but it he or she will also be working with the software development team. So he or she is going to be a part of the hardware development team as well. Software and hardware are going to be the core essentials and also this particular person is going to be a playing a key role in the product development. So especially as this is going to be under everything about interpreting the inputs, so the person should eventually know about the development of that particular product and also the key outputs that is going to be giving to the user end. Now according to the place or the industry that the person is being placed, as a firmware engineer, the place of work is going to be different. It can be in an office or in a laboratory as well. So according to the workplace or to the workforce, the place of work is going to be differing. So you can be working in any sort of atmosphere according to the field that you are specializing in. Now that you have got a brief idea about the definition and a little bit about the work or the role of a firmware engineer, we are now going to head over to the next section which is the skills part. Now before I explain you about all of the list which is given here or read out to you all of this, I am going to tell you on a brief basis what are the skills that actually or what are the key components that a firmware engineer need to have. Now to understand the skills part, you have to first understand what are the responsibilities or what are the uh, specific roles that a firmware engineer is responsible for. A firmware engineer will be responsible in the implementation and also the further designing plus development. All of this in regards to a particular set of applications or a particular app in which he or she is being coordinated with. So in order to have this, he should be aligned with this set of skills. Now the responsibility between the implementation and also the development of the software applications needs to be industry specific or the client specific details. 
So anything which is re regarding to the industry requirements should be fulfilled by a firmware engineer itself. And the next point or the next section which is going to be the person needs to plan, organize all of the software applications and also the further interlinked resources which are allocated with them. So in order to have that again you should have these skill sets in order to be improvising to whatever the product that he or she is going to be working upon. And the third most important thing can be can be including in allocating all of the different programming projects which will be in coordinating with the functioning of the inputs and also how it is being to the user as well. And the core element in regards to the firmware engineer is going to be how is this design being able to work in a very functional manner in regards to the firmware implementation. So these are the basic outlooks of the skill set which you will be able to understand because if you understand all of these sets which are in aligned to the firmware engineer you will be understanding the skills very easily. So aligning the software development is the first and foremost skill that the person should know. Bluetooth wireless technology, ARM architecture and also embedded real-time RTOS and Linux. Along with this, firmware engineer should be also proficient in programming languages as well like C, C++. So in accordance with all of these skill sets only, you will be further placed into various categorization job roles. Now further, we will be looking into the next set of the information which is what does this person actually does. Now as of you have known, in being the implementation designing of various other software applications, whitelist interpreting the inputs, you will be understanding what this person actually does. So a firmware engineer will be working as an essential part of a company's technical team. So as I've mentioned, not only just in regards to the software applications, but the person should also be working in the hardware development team as well. So the person will be playing a key essential role in both of the departments. Now this person also has a key factor in designing and also developing implementation and also other applications regarding the solutions for technological products in order to ensure whether they are functioning efficiently without any glitches or any sort of malfunctions. So when that particular input is being interpreted to the firmware which is being used so by this this particular person who is working under this end have to be ensuring to the company or to the user that the functioning is very smooth and also it will be effectively running on a long term basis. So this is what does a firmware engineer does. And the next is how can you become one? So if you are interested to have a role in or if you want to hatch yourself into this firmware engineer, if you are really interested in building up devices and interpreting devices into a form, then this is the right process for you. The first one which you can note down is being proficient in programming languages. So this comes under the skill set and as well as an asset as well. Knowing programming languages will help you efficiently to understand and also develop the program well. It will be able to help the person to understand the application purposes as well as how it has to be interpreted by the company norms or the industry facilitations or the functionings from the client point of view. The second is familiarity with Microsoft SQL Server. So being understandable according to the servers, it will be able to give a very good exposure as to how you have to implement your software in the first place. And then it is about experience in the role such as senior software engineer or design engineer. When you are associated with all of these roles which I have just mentioned, you will be further having a grip over whatever the applications or designs that they are being working on. So according with that, you will be eventually adapting the style and also the nurturing of the various applications and also the implementations in the first place. So a firmware engineer doesn't only stick on to one certain or particular department or a particular component of work but the person should be able to make sure in carrying out himself or herself with other roles such as senior software engineer or a design engineer as well. 
So you can get a heads up on different other roles so that you can understand the various other components and also various other structures which are being designed. Now as if you have known how you can become one, you will be understanding what are the other things which are aligned to this firmware engineer. Apart with planning and coordinating with the software application development and also being a key role for the product development, these are some of the things or these are some of the roles which are being interlinked or interconnected with a firmware engineer. So now that you have known, we will be just looking into what are the associated interlinks with. The first part is developing and implementing software for industry specific hardware. So as of now, uh, you have just known about interpreting the about the input devices and now here it will be telling you about developing and also implementing about the software industry specific hardware and designing firmware solutions uh, which should be meeting the client or the company's needs as well. So that is why the person will be associated with various other job roles which will be including software, hardware, designing etc. So anything which is associated with all of these roles should be taken over by the firmware engineer. So only then he or she will be able to understand the core components and also the application as well. Then it is about ensuring that it is in functional manner with effective running as well. So in belonging to this, you have to also make sure that it is not only just functional in manner, but it is up to date so that the user will not be having any sort of issues with whatever he or she is working upon a particular device. And the next one is managing budgetary constraints. So constraints regarding budgeting and also your pitching is very important because you will be working on one particular device. So for example, you will be working on keyboards. So how is that keyboard being interpreted upon an input device? So the interpretation part, the implementation part, the designing part, all of this has to be taken under a budgetary concerns. So it is very essential for the person to understand and also to know as to what are the implications that he or she is going to get into when he or she is being reached onto various other components or various other roles. The next section that we are going to look into are how are they being placed. Now it is a very good thought if you are wanting or willing to become a firmware engineer. The career is going to start off a kick start off because in India and in many cities in India are being placed with various other good pay scales. These pay scales which we have collected are from the source of a pay scale. This is just on an average basis but not the exact pay that every company is going to give you. This is going to be vary according to the place, according to the company, according to the organization that you are going to work with or if you are working with various other clients, it is also going to vary. And also it is also going to depend upon the skill set, the various other team that you are going to be coordinating with and various other components or the essentials that you will be requiring to place that into your software application. Now all of this is intercon or interrelated accordingly. So now we will be heading over to just have a brief outlook about the average pay scales that a firmware engineer is getting in India. Now overall in India, a firmware engineer earns about 6 lakhs 19,000 which is really a good payoff. Now we are going to see about the leap which uh, the firmware engineer takes over the years. Your career may be starting off at this edge level but you will be further taking a leap and further elevating yourself into a very good standards. And as you can see the leap is very high and there is no sorts of concern a mere sort of fluctuations as well as you can see here. The next one which we are going to look at is the major city of work in regards to a firmware engineer that is in Mumbai. As Mumbai is considered to be a place of further development and also a very ton of good exposure for various other job roles regarding technical, IT and many other industry related, you will be getting a very good pay of around 4,50,000 per annum. And the next one is going to be Hyderabad which gives a top or which kicks off in a good start or a good place all over South India. So in Hyderabad, a firmware engineer is nearly getting 5,15,000 per annum. So this is also going to be according to whatever the company that you are going to work for and what are the skills that you have accumulated with.
and the next place is going to be in Bangalore again Bangalore is going to be a very exponential phase and also it is going to give you a hell lot of exposure along with that you will be also whitelist learning as well so this is going to be an endless journey of learning as well as developing you will be also coordinated with various other organizations and teams in order if you are working in such good places like these. So in Bangalore, you will be getting paid around 9,70,000 which tops off in most of the many cities which I have just mentioned. And the next one is in Pune. Pune has a good sum of amount which is around 6 lakhs and then it is in Noida. Noida also has a center for firmware engineers in having 6 lakhs around so Pune and Noida is having an equivalent range of uh, the pace which is in regards to the firmware engineer now this is not the same for each and every city each and every city will be varying and being different on various other components depending upon the product or the software application that a firmware engineer is working upon so accordingly you will be further paid and now if you have any other suggestions or any other opinions you can place them in the comment section and please do subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching